Oh, good morning, Master. Did I sleep too late? Oh. Thank you for letting me sleep so much. I did want to sleep a whole lot. Your guest room bed is so comfy. I could just sleep in it all day. Ah, Your guest room is Sweetheart's room now? Whatever did I do to deserve all this? Huh? I earned it? How did I earn it? Oh, but I didn't even know they were being mean to me or neglecting me, so of course I put up with all very quietly. I didn't know anything at all about neglect until you said it to me yesterday, so I wasn't trying to earn a nice bed and a nice place to live. I didn't even think about it at all. Huh? What I suffered through wounded your heart. A figure of speech. Oh, I get it. Like, Playing a game of words, and when you say I cut through your crust and make your heart softer, that's a figure of speech too, right? <laughs> uh, they're confusing. It's so much easier if we're just mean exactly what they say. Uh, Alright, if you like to use figure of speech, then I'll like to learn all about them. You made me breakfast? Oh, goody! Thank you, Master! Oh, sweetheart's listening. Oh, you're going out? Where are you going out to? To see a man about taxes? Are you going to buy some taxes? Taxes have to be done? Like cook done? Like, what are taxes? Oh, it's like money you have to give to the government. What's the government do? Uh, shouldn't the government have to pay you for letting them make all the rules? Yes, it does. It seems that way to me. Uh huh? Me run for office? I ain't like running. But who's office? And why should I run for them? Oh, oh become part of government. Me? And I have to tell people what to do? No, I won't like that. Well, if people who do like telling others what to do shouldn't be government, then why are they doing it? You know, why are they being government and telling people what they have to do? Well, I think they should find something better to do. Anyway, okay, I'll let you go now so you can come home sooner and I'll finish breakfast. But I'll miss you until you come back. And I won't break anything, I promise. Huh? Yeah, I can't be a little. Oh, no. No. Those people didn't teach me. But the orphanage where I was a baby kitten showed us how to read some things. Bathroom signs. Danger. Stop. Go. On. Off. A lot of stuff. I know letters stand for sounds. Sound make words, so new words can be figured out if you know the letter sounds right, right? Oh, those cartoon pages look interesting. Okay, Master, if I get bored, I'll look at these cartoon pages. I like pictures, but I might not like the part of figuring out the words a whole lot. But I will like reading them with you later, especially if we get to sit close together. Promise? Bye-bye, Master! <laughs> uh, this cartoon more 
those are kind of hard. I, there are a lot of them that I've never seen before. And I think some of them sound like words I'm not supposed to say out loud. Ah, what else can I do? Uh, uh, if I open this drawer like this, and then open this door like that and open this one like so now they look like steps i can climb on real carefully and then i can see what's up on that top shelf up, off, up and climb a little and something up there fell off of to the ground and broke and just one thing not much things but now i'm sad because i disobeyed you and also because that at first i wanted to hide what i broke from you but it, it, you've been so good to me i didn't want to pretend so i didn't do it because i would be lying to you and <laughs> here's me Pieces. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but you just said you loved it, and you did love it, didn't you? And now I ruined it forever, so you should say words to me that will make me feel worse. I deserve it. Uh, what strange master. You're not angry? But you should be angry and angry at me. And you'd be right to be angry at me because you loved it. And when you said that, now you only feel bad for me because I feel bad. Well, that makes me feel even better. Oh, worse, worse. Oh, I like it when you say, listen, sweetheart. No. I know I told you that I broke things, but that was before, and it's not your fault, it's mine, because I was climbing and didn't look, and I wouldn't let you make this into your fault, because it was my fault, because I did it, and I need to feel bad about it, and s so stop trying to make me feel good. <laughs> <laughs> Your hug feels weird. No, oh, I mean it feels weird because it feels good to feel bad while you're hugging me. You're oh. You'll necroproof the house. You'll rearrange your whole house just for me just so i can climb and not break things no master it's your house i just have to not climb anymore why can i do that well yes i know i'm made to climb but i can change so why won't you let me promise to but I like to keep that promise. I want to keep it. All right, then. I'll only promise to do my best instead. But I won't fail. How do you know I won't fail? Oh, yeah. I guess we do all fail sometimes. I did, didn't I? Wait, what do you mean this isn't your house, Master? Of course it's your house. Even I know that. 
If it's our house? Oh, Master, I love you so hard right now. It makes me feel afraid. Yes, I love them hard too. When they first took me home, but that didn't last, and I'm afraid it. I love you that hurt it won't last either. And you can't promise to always want me because we all fail. You said so. Oh, okay. I, I can accept that promise. And I promise to do my best to love you back too. But, Master, um, why don't we start uh, necro proofing the house right now? I want to help. Mm, you have a promise to keep first? What promise? Oh, yes! Uh, we're going to read the cartoons together. Um, can we do that right now? Yay! And, Master? May I sit on your lap while we read? Oh, giddy! Let's go now! Come on, come on, come on! Hey guys, thank you and welcome to the third end segment for my audios. Um, this audio is a continuation for the first one for you are i am not your master oh my gosh it's late <laughs> it's like almost 3 a.m and i'm just out of it at this point because i'm being voicing as this crying neko and i'm surprised my dog hasn't barked yet so um but yeah this is the third the second uh set up video uh continuation for i'm not your master by or the average guy so big shout out to him for or uh, for them for writing this awesome script. I absolutely loved it when I read it and I was excited to record this as soon as I read it. Um, and I had a bit of uh, some audio technical technical difficulties. I'm getting tongue twisted now. But uh, thanks for watching all the way to the end. If you liked it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button so I know that you guys want to come back for more. And also hit the notification bell button so that way you will know when the next audio is out. Um, but yeah, um, thanks for watching all the way to the end. I'm like, on, honestly, I'm I'm, sur I'm quite surprised that uh, there was a lot of people who actually enjoyed the, my audios. Because um, I'll explain that in the in the future uh, why I'm so surprised. But uh, quite honestly, just to give a, a brief explanation of why I'm so surprised is I'm not into dom and sub <laughs> and uh, quite honestly it's out of my comfort zone i only voiced it because i really wanted to try something that's not within my normal personality per that way um so i try to voice it in the best best way possible since it's a pet and i have a pet so i decided to talk like i'm talking to my dog a little bit then i transferred it into a bit more dom dom uh it at least based off of what sounds like Dom to me, so um, I'm quite shocked that I got as many likes as I did because um, I didn't know if it sounded quite right and or if it's too soft or mild. Uh, let me know what you guys thought, uh, both for this one and the other audio. I would love to hear your feedbacks. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching so long and this, I hope you guys actually enjoyed listening to my rants at the end. But yeah, uh, before this gets too long, I thank you guys once again uh, for watching and listening all the way to the end of the audio. And I hope you have a great day. Stay safe. I love you all. Peace out. Because my dog's name, Peace. Okay, so thank you guys for, you know, all the support. Um, since I got a quite a number of subscribers compared to before i want to sing you guys once upon december so here it is dancing bears painted wings things i almost remember
remember in the song someone sings once upon a December someone holds me safe and warm horses prance through a silver storm figures dancing gracefully across my memory